Hi guys, Pastor Preston is my name. So in trying to inspire people to do more for their life, be careful not to overpressure them above that they can handle. Okay, that's why it's dangerous when we just gather everybody and we start to motivate them or pressure them and then we start to give ex examples with people. Sometimes those things that you think you're doing a good thing might just become a dangerous thing. Everybody cannot handle the same thing the same way. That's why when people are going into an institution, notice that they ask them for a credentials, right? If you're going to study masters abroad, they're going to ask you for a transcript. They want to see what you have taken before, how you perform, to see if you are fit for the kind of things they'll be offering in that class. They just did not say, oh, well, just show up if you want to do masters. After all, you're paying school fees. They will ask for a transcript. They'll see how well you have performed, the qualification you have obtained before. That's the same thing we must do when we're trying to motivate people. Be careful how in trying to motivate others, you are destroying another because you put all of them in the same place and you're sharing things that they cannot have capacity to manage. Okay, things that are above their capacity, right? A long time ago, one time I was trying to inspire someone and I started to show the person all the things that God has done through me. Okay, all how, how God has helped me in ministry and the rest of them. And I was so shocked when I got to hear from someone and say, oh, it was just bragging. It was just, you know, and all that blah, blah stuff. Because he lacked the capacity to handle the things that I shared. So I learned a lesson. So I learned that not everybody you try to inspire some people will take it wrongly in trying to inspire them, right? I just had a genuine heart for wanting to inspire him. I felt he could do more. And I just wanted to tell him if he trust God more, God could cause him to do a certain stuff. And then he turned another thing. So be careful how you try to inspire people above their capacity. Everybody does not have capacity the same way. So as a good leader, you must run a test on everyone to understand what they can take. And then you supply accordingly, right? Even though everyone is within your leadership, it's important that you know that you're not supposed to lead all of them the same way. You meet people where they are, and then you begin to supply what they can handle per time and how they can handle it. And then you move them. So it is important that you know some people will do way more than some other people, just the way some people do better than others in the classroom. It doesn't mean that they do better. It just means that they, has, they have a certain capacity that the others does not have. Okay. And then you manage them in the right way. I like the way they do it in the Western world. Children who are very smart are in a certain school. Children who are normal are in the normal school. And children who are slow to learn are in a certain school. Right. But in Nigeria, it's not the same. You put all of them in the same classrooms. Right. And of course, some begin to struggle to learn. The danger is that they'll begin to feel like they are not good enough. Right. Because they are not learning according to their pace. Right. With people who are of the same, you know, capacity with them. So, and not to overpressure people who cannot handle it. Okay, some things that are motivation for one can be dangerous to another. So offer people things that they can manage and when they grow, you move with the next thing. I like the way the Bible will say it. When I came unto you, I wanted to speak unto you as unto spiritual, but I found out that you were kana, so I couldn't speak unto you as unto spiritual, but as unto kana. That was the very word of Paul in 1 Corinthians chapter number 3. Okay, so he evaluated them. He knew what they had capacity from. And how did he judge them? By their fruit, he knew. He said, when you have division, envy, and strife, he says, are you not kana? So he looked at their fruit and then judged their capacity and knew what to say to them. So don't offer people People based on what they say to you. They say, oh, just tell me I can take it. Tell me everything. Show me everything. No. Make sure that what they can handle is what you supply to them. Otherwise, you will not find them get better by the supply that you offer. That's something that you need to understand when you try to lead people. Otherwise, you'll be laboring in vain. And there's nothing as painful as laboring in vain. If you're not careful, it will bring you to a place of frustration because you'll be thinking, I'm doing the best. I'm offering them the best. Okay, but I'm not finding that translate to result in their life. Because the point is, have you asked yourself or found that if they have capacity to manage the best that you offer them, right? Think about it. That's why you see the best of schools in, in the world, Harvard, Oxford. They just don't admit anybody. You go through their screening. And if you pass because they don't want to offer you their best, that will not translate to result for you or that will probably be frustrating you. Yeah, that's true. So it's important that you understand how to lead people and lead people where don't just pressure people in the name of inspiring them. Thank you for listening and God bless you.